Artsy Experiments 02 Spray Varnish on Old Sticky Journal Pages continued. This video is to review the results of yesterday's experiment of the Krylon UV Archival Matte Spray Varnish number 1378 on old 2012 journal pages that are sticking together. I will also present two other methods of sealing the journal pages. First, waxing the page with a candle, and second, using the Deco Arts Deco page to seal other pages in the same 2012 art journal. Okay, I'm back with experiment number two. And what I'm doing is, look at this big stack of books I have. They're big, heavy books. And at the very bottom of it is my 2012 art journal. Yesterday, I used some of this Krylon UV Archival Spray Varnish number 1378 matte. And I used it on a page in my art journal to test out whether... I, um, it would reduce the stickiness on those pages as they turned. After the page dried, I put under this big stack of books as if you would have packed it away. So now I'm going to remove these books. They're all heavy. That was a calculus book, American History, and my Wisconsin Fishes book. They're all just really heavy books. Okay, so my journal page is back here. If I can find it here, I don't want to show you any of the others because I want to show them to you one at a time. Here is the one I showed you yesterday out on the patio. And the next one I glazed. No? This was the one I showed you out on the patio. These two kind of go together. And the next one, I didn't glaze it. I used that archival spray on it. And as you can see, I already tested this out. It is still sticking. So it's not sticking quite as bad, but I don't know if that's a factor of it just not sitting enough or... Did I get enough on there? I don't know. I'm going to kind of give that a... It may work. I used the enamel on here. Some of this Ranger's um, enamel, glossy enamel. And it could be that it's just not working with the enamel. So I'm not going to do it here because I'm inside. But on another test, I've got just a little of this left. On another test, I'll open this book to another page and take it outside and spray it on a page that does not have the enamel on it and see if it if that is a factor in it. So I'm kind of reserving my opinion on this one. I'm going to come back with this. I'm going to try in our art group, uh, one of the um, people there suggested that we use decoupage. And uh, uh, so I'm going to, this is uh, by Deco Arts. It's uh, a sealer glue finish and it dries clear, low, low order, fast drying. Um, dry in 15 to 20 minutes between coats. So that says to me we may need to apply more than one coat. And in fact, I think this said the same thing. Um, da, 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 for use on yeah, uh, mask any area, shake can vigorously test spray, spray artwork, adjust the rate of the stroke, apply multiple thin coats to help avoid runs and drips. Well, I didn't have the runs and the drips, but it could be that I just need to put another coat. So I'm gonna try, I take that back. I'm gonna try another coat on this. I'm gonna find another page to do this. I'm gonna do that in this video section. I also bought, I was at Michael's today, and this is a wax floater candle. 
originally 80 cents. I found it in the clearance bin for 29 cents. It's got a vanilla scent to it, but I don't care if my my candles a little, I mean my journal smells a little like mm, vanilla. And I thought that would be really easy to wax a page with. That was another suggestion to try. I think I'll probably try that first. And then, because I'll probably have to do these outside, maybe in other um, sessions, in other segments, I have a folk art clear coat acrylic sealer uh, with a matte finish. I'm going to try that to see what happens, because I can always use this. Um, and I also have in that same clearance bin a um, glazing medium. Let's see who's who is this? Deco Arts again, glazing medium. And it doesn't say whether it's a matte or it just says glazing medium. So I'm going to try that. This is. Here again was a dollar ninety nine, and I got it for twenty nine cents. So I figure these are cheap tries. <laughs> so for right now, I'm going to go with a wax page, and then after I get done doing my wax page, I'm going to find another page and do the decoupage. And I'll have to let the decoupage set out and dry. So now I want to find another page that's kind of sticking together. And would that be? Well, that would be this one, and I can kind of tell you about this when I come back. You, you saw how that kind of stuck together? Well, that's because I have some official police line tape that was laying out in the yard of uh, a company where I used to work, and they had a picnic out there or something, and, and uh, they I don't know exactly what they were doing. Uh, nobody was killed there. <laughs> But uh, that, or it had blown out in the yard, and it was just laying out there, you know, littering up the yard. So I went out and picked it up, and I used it in my art journal, and I'll explain the gist of that page. But I think I'll probably do, I'll come back to this, because I don't want to wax it. I think I'll use my decoupage on this, um, because this has plastic on it, and that's probably what's causing that to stick. And I'm going to see if my decoupage will work on that. This I'm going to take outside and give another coat of this archival, but I'm not going to do that in this segment. This was not sticking together, and the reason why, I'll tell you why this did not stick together, is because there's waxed paper. This whole layout is done on waxed paper. So, <laughs> no troubles there. I want to find one that is sticking together. Um, this one did sort of, but I'll come back to that. Let's see here. So you can kind of tell. I kind of had to jerk on those two. Let's see. Here's one. In fact, here's, a, well, not this one, this one here. You can see how I'm having to pull it apart. It's one I did on barn quilts. I had gone through it, um, well, I went through Iowa on one of my vacations and I saw all these barn quilts and I got really inspired to do that. Now this has, this, I can tell you, this is paper piecing here. I ran these through my Xyron machine and I would imagine that that has some of that Xyron tape, you know, how if you use a Xyron machine, I use the Creative Station to do these. Um, it will leave little areas of tape around your cut images when you pull it off. And I tried to get them all off, and but sometimes they still stick. But uh, in here, I painted with acrylic barn red paint that I mixed. So this is all acrylic paint. These, if you want to know, here, see this page is sticking together too. So I have come to that. Um, these tabs here are made out of, I drink that coffee in the morning, and then you get them in little single packets. Well, I fill them with my K-cups, and I can get five K-cups out of one of those little single packets that you get at the grocery store. Well, when I snip that off, I saved the top, and I made tabs out of my 2010 journal. Here's a gold one over here. <laughs> 
I don't know why I did it. I guess I thought I was being smart. But I think I'll try to wax this page. And I've never done this before. But I'm just going to take and see if I can just rub wax all over this page. And it is kind of giving it a wax, kind of a grainy coating. As I'm feeling it here. I've never done this, so I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. But I would say if you do this, do not do this on a page. And they recommended doing a white candle. But I can see that a white on my red is going to... In this case, I don't mind because it's just a journal. Uh, I can see where the wax is. But I can also feel it's kind of grainy on there. But I'm going to say, if you're going to wax a journal page like this... Um, make sure you don't want to write over it with a felt tip pen or one of your ink pens again. I'm all done with this. I know I'm not going to be putting any more journaling on it. So I have no, no problem with giving this a good coating of candle wax. And then I'm just going to kind of brush it off. I can feel the greeniness. I'm just kind of rubbing it in and... Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is another suggestion was to use a product, and I hope that I'm pronouncing this right. I thought it was Durland, D-U-R-A, D-U-R-L-A-N-D, but I went online and did a search for it, and all I could come up with was Dorland, D-O-R-L-A-N-D, and it is a sealer for oil paint. I found it at Dick Blick. Well, I did not find it retail, so that's why I like retail. If I want something, I can go down right down to Michael's and pick it up. I don't have to get online and order it and wait a week and a half to get my order. Although I think Dick Blick might be better than that, but sometimes you have to wait for your order to come in, and I'm getting patient. <laughs> so I like to have my, I like to be able to go down and get the things I like. But that is another thing that might somebody might try is that Dorland, D-O-R-L-A-N-D, Wax, W-A-X. And it's, uh, they sell it uh, for use on oil paintings. And as I was reading the specs there, it said that uh, it could be removed for conservation purposes. Well, in oil painting, a conservation, the term conservation in oil painting or in art, in needlework and if you're working with fabrics, quilts, or uh, I know it from my work with my samplers and everything, that the term conservation means um, to conserve or to restore to, uh, in the case of oil paintings, it would mean probably restoration of an oil painting. Uh, same way with uh, sampler, needlework samplers. This is really wet now. I can just, it feels kind of grainy, and that may be what I'm using this type of wax. Um, I lost my track. I was talking about conservation. Conservation means preserving in needlework, like preserving your needlework, making it um, techniques that if you find an old linen tablecloth, you know, what you're going to do to uh, preserve that as an heirloom, you know, washing techniques, storing techniques, um, even framing techniques. Now, as I can feel, I'm going to, my hand is waxy too here. Um, I can feel the difference between these two pages. This feels, well, I can tell you this feels grainy. I can feel the wax on here and it does feel grainy. Um, to me, a wax should be more of a smooth wax, but maybe it's the candle that I'm using. Page. And I've got pretty good coverage there. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. I don't want this video to go too long. So I'm just going to kind of hurry and do it here. Now I'm not going to worry about this drying because it is already dry. I'm just applying a wax surface to it. The other thing I thought I might try, and I, I was going to stop at uh, Walgreens because I know they have it, is some of that Burt's Bee Wax. Maybe like a, a lip balm or something and something I don't know how that would 
Here again, I'm not concerned about archival quality here because nothing in this art journal particularly is, <laughs> is archival. In fact, it needs a little repair there. But I do like this page and I don't like it sticking together. So I'm just kind of going all over this page with this mm, yummy smelling vanilla candle. <laughs> and then I'm just kind of rubbing it as I go. I need to, to glue this down a little more. I'm not going to do it now. I'll do it after. All right. So I'm going to call this pretty well done. And we'll see tomorrow. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll do this page. And then I'll go back to this page. And uh, see my barn quilts there. You want to see the total barn quilt page. Maybe it there. This was inspired by, and let me turn my camera a little more. This was inspired by a trip to Iowa. And they have one county in particular, uh, particular that I went through was Shelby County. It's in western Iowa. I think there are some more counties that all these farmers put all these designs on top of their barns and you can actually get a little tour guide a little brochure guide and go map where it maps out where all these different quilt designs are on the barns. In fact, there is a barn quilt about probably about two miles from where I'm living now. And I thought, oh, how fun. I'm going to inspire my journal page. That was in 2012. Now I'm going to go back to this page with the police line. And this has the actual, this is actual plastic tape. Police line do not cross. This lady was cut out of a simplicity pattern front. And in fact, you can kind of see the B1 here. And I used it more as a, um, more as a decorative element, like, like she's holding her mug shot or something. But, uh, and then I put a little scissors there. And then I gave her a prison outfit. And uh, I put cut from a different pattern, you know, I put a broken heart in there. I, I drew a heart. Well, that I was rubbing in there and I rubbed my page too much when I was gluing. It doesn't show through on the other side, but I rubbed it too much and I rubbed a hole in it. So I drew a heart across it like her heart's breaking or has a hole in her heart. And uh, I have some pattern paper on here. You can see these little scissors down in here. This is... This has a collaged, and I do not remember what I collaged it down with. I can tell you it probably was not matte medium. Uh, it was not my gel medium because I wasn't using it at this time. Uh, it could have been could have been Mod Podge or it could have been Elmer's glue. That's what I was using when I was doing these journals. And then I got smart and started buying the the gel medium. And I like I'm gonna reach across here. I like my weld bond to collage weld bond glue to do my collaging. I water that down. But I know I did not learn about this until way it passed when I did these this entire journal. But police line, this was an official police tape that was blown out in the yard of the company that I worked for and then I journaled over here her crime, a heart that crossed the line. She's got a broken heart and then Here's some more off of that pattern. Then I put cut from a different pattern to kind of mimic the lady from the pattern. So that's the story of that journal page. That's what I was doing in 2012. Probably about a year ago today, because this is 2013. Now, I just opened this. It did not have a, a sealer on it. This is the first time I've opened it, and I've noticed... I'm going to reach across and get a little, excuse my reach, I want a little palette here. And I'm just going to pour a little, because I'm not sure how to use this. I'm not sure how thick or thin it is. And I think I'm going to apply it with this sponge brush, which I think is pretty clean. I've used it to do, I've used it to do uh, collaging before. Now I can see even after a year, I probably used a Sharpie pen or something 
I need to collage real easy around these letters because this is not a permanent this is not a permanent ink on these letters and I can tell that they're already if I don't collage easy around them that they're going to run they're not permanent I should have sprayed it with a fixative but I'm inside <laughs> I don't want to take it outside I want to finish my segment and probably the same thing with her prison outfit so I'm just going to give this a pretty thick coat on here and it says it dries clear so I'm going to take it at its word and I'll let's see I think that this is the first time that I've used this decoupage to to collage with to seal or anything so that's why I wanted to pour it out on a I think I can pour some on my page I want a pretty thick coat on it and we'll see how clear this dries <laughs> and I particularly want it to go on this plastic police tape and we'll see after it dries, I'll let it dry for a couple hours. I think it said uh, dry time was 15 to 20 minutes. Well, it is about, it's 7 o'clock in the evening here. So I will, I will let this dry until 9 o'clock. I'll give it two hours to dry completely. And then I'll come in here and I'll shut up the book. I'll close the book. And look, see, I'm getting some in here. That's okay. Maybe I should wipe that off, though. Not that it will hurt this page, but I just don't want it to stick together while it's drying. So the test here, two tests on this segment. The waxed barn quilt page, will it stick together? and that was done with my little wax candle and then this decoupage medium on this police line page that says do not cross <laughs> and I am giving it a, a, a really thick coat because I got that plastic tape up here that police official police tape it was blowing out in the yard and it wasn't like it was I mean there was it was scrap it was obvious that it was not cordoning off anything it's, they just didn't clean up their mess so I'm pretty happy with this And even if my paid printing blurs a little there, I don't really care. So I'm going to end this video here. And like I said, it's 7 o'clock here in the evening and around 9 o'clock. This should all be dry. And uh, I'm just cleaning off my bottle. And I'll come in and close up the book and weight it down again with... Um, weighed it down again with those heavy books that I showed at the beginning of the video and then I'll let it set like that all night and then tomorrow my test will be I'll come in and I'll see will this page stick together or will my barn quilt stick together so that's experiment number two uh, continued with decoupage by Deco Arts and a wax candle and to try to resolve old journal pages sticking together. 
Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next segment because I've got some more things to try to solve the same problem.